You know, it's really funny. A long time ago, a little bit after high school, a good friend of mine met a girl. A girl he really liked. A girl he thought was absolutely awesome. He just, he, they went on a couple dates. The dude was all over this girl. He thought this girl was the coolest thing since sliced bread. He was so happy. Um, and then someone around my friend told him about this girl. He said, hey, I know something about this girl uh, that you don't know. And I'd be very careful. And my friend ultimately decided to end it with this girl. He decided to break it off and end things. And looking back with hindsight, he completely regrets that decision. He let someone else's outside perspective influence the way he thought about this girl. I told him back in the day, I said, look, man, have a conversation with her. Ask her about what happened. Ask her about what this is. He never did. He highly regrets it. The point is, sometimes we let silly things stop us from embracing people. Sometimes we let outside factors determine the way we view someone else without talking to them, without actually getting to know them or understanding the context. For example, we, everyone said Russell Wilson was far too short and they didn't draft him. Russell Wilson was a great quarterback. I could have told you that the minute I watched him play in the Rose Bowl. I, I said to my dad, he'll get drafted, he'll do well. He did. You know, Dak Prescott was drafted late in the NFL draft. We still, to this day, hold that against Dak Prescott. There is one quarterback we do that to in the NFL. I'm going to tell you his stats. Listen to these stats. In 10 games, this guy has 14 touchdowns, 5 interceptions, 2,476 yards, and a 66.1% completion percentage. Now... <clears throat> For context, let me tell you about Derek Carr and Matt Ryan. Derek Carr's stats are 16 interceptions, sorry, 16 touchdowns, 8 interceptions, 2,444 yards, with a 64.7% completion percentage. Matt Ryan, also 16 touchdowns, also 8 interceptions, 2,800 yards, and a 60%, 67% completion percentage. Now notice, I didn't compare the original statistics of this quarterback that I'm not naming yet. I didn't compare him to Tom Brady or Drew Brees or Russell Wilson. But these numbers, 14 touchdowns, 66% completion percentage, almost 2,500 yards. That's a solid franchise quarterback. That's a second-tier guy. He fits in with Derek Carr and Matt Ryan. Do you know who it is yet? You have no idea. It's really fun. It's Case Keenum. Case Keenum, the quarterback of the Minnesota Vikings. You thought it. I know you did. I know when I said Case Keenum's name, you thought, ah, and you cringed a little bit. And you weren't like, yuck, but you weren't excited either. You know, Case Keenum is 29 years old. He was undrafted. He went to a small school. He didn't go to Texas or Alabama or Oklahoma or University of Washington or USC. He went to small school, Houston. Did you know, though, by the way, Case Keenum holds every single, pretty much every record for passing in Division I college football. Not to mention, last year, Case Keenum had this issue with Jeff Fisher. He wasn't the starter. He was a starter. You know, they had Jared Goff as a starter in L.A. We struggled to embrace Case Keenum because of his past. Let me be very clear. If Case Keenum was a rookie quarterback, if he's 22 years old, Rookie quarterback just drafted. We would be all over Case Keenum. Case Keenum would be the rookie of the year. But because of his past, we struggle to embrace him. It's terrible. It's really horrible. The Minnesota Vikings are talking about, well, should we play Teddy Bridgewater? Also, Case Keenum is your guy. Case Keenum has gotten you here. Stick with the guy that got you there. Case Keenum's playing really well. Literally, in some people's minds, he's an MVP. I don't, I don't agree with that. He's not, but he is a great quarterback. He's playing like a franchise quarterback. I know he's not your plan. I know your plan was Teddy Bridgewater. Look, relax. You think my plan was ever to do strong opinion sports? No. Two years ago, my brother was alive. Never, ha never thought that would happen. My brother dies. Bam, everything changed for me. Now I'm in Pullman, Washington, a tiny little college town, recording a podcast into a mic in a dorm room when I said I'd never go back to college. It's just funny. Your plans change. Sometimes a door opens. You need to take it. The Vikings need to commit to Case Keenum. Case Keenum is playing like not only a great quarterback, he's playing like a second-tier franchise quarterback. 
commit to Case Keenum. And if you don't, he'll go somewhere else and do well. I really do think Case Keenum's on a roll. The Vikings should stick with Case Keenum. 